MovieWeb.com. So, Peter, in the film, um, it takes place in Britain in the 60s, and there's a certain mystique that I think surrounds that period and that time, and I was wondering, um, how did the music and uh, the, the clothes and everything, how did that help you, how did it feel to inhabit that time, and how did that help you to create this character? Hmm. A lot of the, some of the music had been picked before the film, so I didn't know of it, you know, obviously in the, uh, in the club scene. Um, I didn't think about it that much. Uh, the clothes just do it to you. You put them on. I remember my favorite thing was this pair of sunglasses that I wear in one scene in the film that I always had on me. And I would be like, oh, am I going to wear my sunglasses in this scene? I'd be like, ah, I won't wear them. And I, oh, but I always had them. And those sun, there was something about those sunglasses because they were too big also that <laughs> kind of went like this on the <laughs> side. and They were huge black ones. And um, that something about those sunglasses felt like David to me. The hat, too. love the hat. So it did help. Some of the stuff did help. It did, but you know, it's not like you don't sit there going, God, my clothes are really helping me play this part. You know? Right. It just happens, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just kind of start walking a certain way and yeah. And the relationship uh, between you and uh, your character and Jenny in the film, um, it's so beautiful and at the same time, obviously, is something that will be frowned upon. So I was just wondering, um, how would you describe the relationship between your two characters? I think they're like a couple of teenagers, you know? And I think, um, I think the sexuality that's between them is like the way that it would be between a couple of teenagers, not now, but teenagers then. Okay. Teenagers now, it seems, are like bunnies. Um, but back then, you know, a little bit more of a prudent frame of mind. Sex was something that was slightly um, worrisome, you know, even though you wanted to, that it was something right. that you m might whip out a piece of fruit to avoid, you know. And your character certainly does some say questionable things in the movie, make some questionable decisions, and yet you're so, the character is so likable in the film. How did you justify that as an actor and, and how were you able to make that work? He just believes, just like we all do. I mean, it's very difficult to know if you really are lying in some way every moment of your life during the day. And, um, you know, or representing, not just lying, but just representing something in a way that's false, that's not connected to reality enough. I mean, um, you know, we're, pre we're pretending I'm an actor right now. <laughs> um, I, uh, it's just, I really do believe that everyone constructs their own reality. I think Jenny's constructing her own reality. I think her father is. I think everyone in the movie is. So all I had to do was the same thing all of them are doing, is just construct a reality in any given moment. And then you don't have to feel like a bad person or something. You know? Awesome. Uh, and finally, what do you hope American audiences take away from this film? What do you hope that they learn about the time period or the relationship they maybe didn't know? Um, that's a hard question to answer. I mean, I don't really care what they take away about the time period or anything like that or, you know, um, but I do, I guess because I'm still in some way playing this character, you know, you never really let them go, they're all a part of you. I do hope that there is some feeling that, uh, that love was in his heart of some kind. It, and he's not a guy who's really capable of feeling that much love to begin with. You know, I don't think it's like something he, he spends his days doing. but. Um, I think you do see that this somehow did affect him and struck him in some way. And we see that Jenny is going to go on and lead a great life and all of that. But, you know, I, I, I'm interested in what's going to happen to him.